Hi guys, the first video in this mini-series Hamza the Muslim Apologist is Atheist School is Open. It's short, yet has several errors. He writes Schools Open, which if I want to be anal and a spelling Nazi is a mistake, isn't it? And school? A school is an institution where students learn something. Does he teach or do I learn? No to both. He only gloats, trying to make the people he fears most, the atheists, look bad, thinking that it will elevate his own feeble, faulty belief system somehow. Is it illogical, he asks, to believe a supernatural entity exists? Yeah, without evidence, of course it is. It's credulous, careless, and not exercising due diligence. He says, therefore, the Creator doesn't exist. Now, this is a claim I don't make. It's wrong, because it would be a non sequitur, an unsubstantiated knowledge claim. Just because we don't have evidence here and now with our limited capabilities, that does not exclude the existence of this entity anywhere, somewhere, or at any time. This would be a fallacy known as an argument from ignorance, something not being true because it hasn't been proven to be true. What the Muslim apologist is committing, however, is a fallacy of addressing a strawman, a claim never made to divert from the real issue. What I can say using logical argumentation, since no gods or goddesses have ever been demonstrated until someone does, they don't exist. Now, I don't believe, as default position, that something exists until it has been shown to exist in reality or logically or using mathematics. Taking the logical line again, the reason he alluded to in the beginning, I can logically exclude his favorite God from existing, based on the claims made as to the qualities and attributes associated with this specific Creator God. Oh, and if I come home and realize I've left my fully charged and switched on phone in the car, I take a second phone, go back to the car and call my number. Whoops, there's nothing. Going back inside, I repeat this and find it in my jacket, showing I did not leave it in the car. So absence of evidence is evidence of absence. Ironic, eh? <laughs>